Good morning once again. This is Sunrise at Sea. My name is Priva Elibaz and it is our wellness, beauty and lifestyle segment. Today the conversation continues and I'm still sitting down with Dr. Abaka Kalinachi of the Diopta Eye Care Center. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, I know it's the same setting, but hey, good morning once again. Good morning to you. Yes. So before we actually look at uh, ocular hypertension today, I would like to ask you, what do you think, how often should people actually go for the regular eye checkups? Yeah, thank you. It's a good question. We often go for eye checkups when we get issues with our eyes. Someone has eye discomfort, they're tearing, there's a discharge, the eyes are red, or they're losing vision, or something has in the eye and they're feeling something scratching the eye. Mm. I should say whenever you have any eye issues, always seek attention from an eye specialist or from a thumb clinic officer. Mm -hmm. care, an, an eye health care worker. That's my advice to you. However, for screening purposes, we advise that at least once in a year, if you clock 30 years and above, 40, mm -hmm. at least once a year, go for an eye check. Okay? Once. When you go out there, if someone asks you if you have glaucoma, you should know whether you have it or not. Okay, you should know if you have ocular hypertension or not, if you're 40 years and above. Yeah. Even the doctors, even us, also, I mean, even me myself, I should go for an eye check. I mean, someone should check How my eye. How often do you go, doctor? <laughs> I'm here when, when a colleague comes, yes. I, I go for eye checks. Awesome. I do eye body checks, entire body check, and also go for an eye check. As well. So I advise that know your status because Unlike other diseases that will present with symptoms. For glaucoma, it is symptomless in most cases. You won't know that you have glaucoma until they check your eyes. And checking is not about um, looking at your eyes, reading our charts and everything. We do take eye pressure and also look at optic nerve, that nerve that gets damaged. At the back with, of the eye. At the back of the eye. Yes. So at least once a year, if you age, 40 years and above. We have a society of Farmers of of Uganda, where I belong. We encourage people who are older than 40 years to always go for an eye check and always emphasize. Make sure you have a glaucoma screening as part of the eye examination. If someone forgets, please request for Remind it. Them. Yeah. Yes. If you don't have, you can't afford private services, we have government facilities, go for an eye check. Okay? So once a year, if you have glaucoma, and you're diagnosed with glaucoma, then you will become a chronic patient. So those who are out there and you know your doctor told you you have glaucoma, please always follow the instructions and regular uh, visits. You may have visits every month, okay? Because they have to know, that, uh, your doctor should tell if the eye drop you're using is helping. And that can be done if they do eye checks. Periodically. Periodically. If yes. you have glaucoma, they also go further and do what you call visual field tests they the test and grade how 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 severe how how severe the damage has been on your optic nerve mm -hmm. so you are, you go for what we call uh visual field uh tests okay so if you have glaucoma the visits are regular until your doctor tells it uh, f confirms that this drop actually helps in normalizing your pressure or you need to be followed up for like about six months and then so for whoever has no glaucoma or not confirmed yet go for an eye check and have glaucoma just any time from now, but once a year. Because once glaucoma, year. to have damage on your eye, it takes time. So you can arrest that progression if you go for regular checks, like once a year. Mm -hmm. Well, you heard it from Dr. Abubakar. You need to make your way to your nearest health facility, meet an eye specialist, and get that screening done. Myself, I'm going to get that screening done once we're done with the, with the show. But doctor, okay. now let's talk about ocular hypertension. Okay, Help like us that. give us the description. <laughs> Define it for us out there who probably do not understand what it is. Ocular hypertension. The word ocular means eye. It stands for eye. Mm -hmm. It's a Greek word from the Greeks, ocular. Uh, hypertension is rise in pressure. Mm -hmm. Hyper means high. Yes. Just like if someone has hypertension, their blood pressure is high. So ocular means eye pressure that is higher than normal. Mm -hmm. So ocular hypertension is the eye pressure that is above the normal range. So uh, our eyes have pressures because they have fluids circulating, produced and draining out of the eye. So if the drainage is, drainage is lower than production, pressure builds up, okay? 
So how long pressure, high pressure is between 10 and 20? For, yes, yes. Normal, normal high pressure, yes. that's 20, between 10 and 20. So if your pressures are within 10 and 20, you're okay. I mean, there's no damage going on in most cases. If your pressures go higher than 20, they may actually go get on progressing, getting higher and higher, okay? Damage starts in your eye. I mean, the optic nerve gets damaged, okay? So, ocular hypertension is pressures above the normal range, above 20, mm -hmm. above 21, I should say. Yes. So, if you're 25, 30, that's ocular hypertension. Uh, ocular hypertension, we have grades, of course, we have very severe, we have mild and severe, moderate and severe, okay? Between 20 and 25, that's mild, mm -hmm. moderate. Then 20 to, uh, 25 to 30, that's moderate. Above 30, 32 and above, that is severe. severe. If you have pressures of above 40 for three days, it's enough for your, your, your optic nerve to get knocked out. Get damaged. So you can actually lose vision entirely. If your pressures are more than 40 or 42 or whatever and above, it takes about 48 hours to, I think, 72 hours to have actual blindness setting in. So would we describe a, 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 a patient as having ocular hypertension if only their, their pressure is not within the normal range and, and the fact that uh, there's an absence of any other clinical signs of like uh, glaucoma or uh, there are other symptoms you can use to classify someone who has ocular hypertension? So actually ocular hypertension, someone has high pressures but maybe they don't have any glaucoma that changes. For, for someone to have glaucoma, mm -hmm. to say that you have glaucoma, we must see three things. One, you should have obvious optic nerve changes that are glaucomatous. Optic nerve capping, we see them on our slit lamp and ophthalmoscope, okay? Mm. Two, you must have visual field changes that can be actually obtained or not, uh, visual field tests, okay? So by just taking your pressure, we don't say you have glaucoma. In, although in, uh, in Luganda we say pressure yamasu, because you don't have a equivalent word for glaucoma in Luganda. In Luganda yes. Even for a layman, if you talk about glaucoma, we talk about eye pressure. But glaucoma, for you to say you have glaucoma, it means you must have those changes in optic nerve. You're losing some visual fields mm -hmm. in your environment. So ocular hypertension is when the pressures are high, wow. above normal. Yeah, just That's ocular hypertension. That's all. Yeah. What are some of the causes? What causes ocular hypertension? The risk factors for glaucoma actually. Yes, the risk factors. Yeah, let's talk about the aging risk factors as well. Mm -hmm. If you grow older, you have, you may develop ocular hypertension. If you're using these medication, corticosteroids, either systemic or topical. Yes. You can have that setting in. Uh, predisposition from you know, family history. If you have family history, uh, there's genetic predisposition to ocular hypertension. Okay. Uh, if someone has diabetes, they can easily get increased uh, eye pressure. If someone has refractive errors, if they are long-sighted, the front part of the eye is a bit shallow. So the angle through which the fluid drains out of the eye may easily occlude, may easily close, and pressure increases. Okay? Increases, yes. Trauma, if someone has trauma to the eye, mm. you hit, someone hits your eye, playing football and it hits your eye, or these uh, thugs who snatch our bags, our phones, they may hit and then hit the eye. Mm. You may get involved in an accident and then you have impact on the eye and you have bleeding in the eye. That bleeding can actually predispose you to ocular hypertension. <coughs> if someone has diabetes and <clears throat> it's not well controlled, they may have new vessels developing in the eye, in front of the eye, and these vessels may actually occlude, may block the drainage pathway of the fluid. So you may have pressures increasing. Okay, yes. Can uh, previous surgery on the eye actually also present itself as a risk factor? Yes, true. It can, If eh? you have had an eye surgery, you mm -hmm. also have standards of dropping okay. ocular so, hypertension and glaucoma subsequently. Glaucoma, yes. So in our previous conversation, we did see glaucoma doesn't really have symptoms. But really? does ocular hypertension have? Um, now, if the pressures are high, if you have pressures between uh, 20 and 30, 35, Fatty may not have symptoms, but if it, they go higher, uh, they may actually, they may actually, actually develop symptoms. You may mm -hmm. develop eye pain, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. You may develop tearing, you may have decreased vision setting in because too much pressures of the eye actually cause swelling of that 
front part of the eye. You call it corneoedema. Mm. Uh, water actually enters, I mean, is absorbed into that cornea and becomes a bit uh, thick. And that thickness actually causes light scattering and then blurring of vision. Mm. If it's higher, you may develop eye pain, you may get nausea. Actually, the hypertension that is, uh, ocular hypertension that is higher is common in those who develop acute angle closure glaucoma. That's when the pressure has actually increased so fast, uh, then you develop such symptoms. Okay, yes. Okay. Well, doctor, what are some of the tests you doctors, mm. as specialists, do take to actually diagnose the ocular hypertension? Yeah, we do what we call uh, gold mantonometry. Uh, if you can, if you look at this machine here, yes. the entire setup is called a slit lamp, okay? We use it for examining our eyes thoroughly from the front part to the back of the eye. Mm -hmm. And with help of some lenses, uh, with some lenses, we can actually look at the back of the eye using... Just that, lens. yes. But we use it with this machine. So if someone uh, has come for an eye check, mm -hmm. we... This is our machine, okay? It does many functions. So this machine here is called Goldman Aquanation Tonometer. We use it for measuring eye pressure. So if someone comes to our clinic, we make them sit and put their chin here and then use some light, uh, use ball light actually. Yes. Uh, light it there. And then you see, this is for measuring the eye pressure. We put some drop in your eye, numb it a bit. Numb so. it, oh. Okay. Then we put your chin here, then this one touches your eye. It's not discomforting not because, of the, because of the drop. We use some drop that helps in numbing the eye, so you, you don't feel this sensation. Yes. Though the eye is so sensitive to any touch, but with this, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, we also have digital tonometers that can actually measure the eye pressure without using the whole subject into this. But yes. this is the gold standard. What I get from this machine is the best accurate intraocular pressure wow. measurement. What I get from here is actually the most trusted eye pressure. We have digit ones that actually don't touch, touch your eye. Some use air, some use some probes that are mm. so small, so no need for even uh, putting some drops in your eye. But this is a gold standard. If I measure your pressure using this, I'm sure what I've measured is right. Is right. Well, doctor, your final closing remarks. Um, thank you very much. I'd like to thank our viewers for being with us through this talk. Your, your sight is important. Always take care of your sight and your eyes. We advise that whenever you get an eye problem, seek attention from an eye health care worker. Yes. I'm not saying don't go to general doctors, but a good doctor will always, always refer you to an eye specialist or any other eye health care worker. Whenever you get an issue with your eyes, please go for an eye check. And screening for such eye conditions like glaucoma is very important for your health. I've known some responsible families that actually come for eye checks and we check their entire family. If you have glaucoma, I advise you to bring your siblings for an eye As check. Well. Yeah. And if you have glaucoma, if you care about your people, <laughs> bring all of them for an eye check. That's my advice. Take care of your eyes and always seek attention from qualified healthcare workers. Workers. That's our message from Ophthalmology South of Uganda that mind about your eye health by seeking attention from the right, the right specialist. Yes, well, thank you, Dr. Abubakar Kalinachi of the Diopta Eye Care Center. Yeah, thank Diopta Eye so Care Center is here for you. <laughs> yes. Always. Well, thank you so much for gracing our show. Thank well, you. Well, you heard it from Dr. Abubakar Kalinachi, who is uh, of the Diopta Eye Care Center. And of course, he did give his insight on uh, ocular hypertension, the ways you can uh, uh, prevent it, the ways you can manage it. And of course, he did emphasize about the fact that as any person out there, whether you have an eye problem or you don't have an eye problem, it is it is important. It is good for you to actually make your way to um, a, a hospital and meet with an eye specialist so that you can do screening at least once a year. You know, it's good for you. Well, that's all we had for you on our wellness, beauty, and lifestyle segment. My name is Priva Elibas. Keep watching Sunrise at Sea.